Hello friends this is the tutorial for Kasha V5 for beginners, in this tutorial I will show how to make press tool assembly from beginning. This is the drawing, please find the link of PDF drawing in description below. Let's start. To start part design workbench, click on start, then mechanical design, then click on part design. We will make one hole by using hole command make pattern of it. Now, use pattern command, select on pattern command symbol, select hole, first direction type 90 mm value, the click on second direction tab and give another dimension 190 mm. After making pattern, Change color of primary hole for this right click on hole then, properties and, graphics, change color. Create a folder, name the folder press tool assembly, save part in this folder. Now, I will create top plate. Here, you can make holes in sketch, you can use mirror command, or you can create hole sketch, and pad it.
Save part in the same folder created. Make sure you save all parts in that same folder. Now I will make guide pillar. Now, I will make pillar. Create a sketch and, give diameter dimension, save sketch, then pad 200 millimeters. Use Groove command, to make chamfer, for this make sketch and click on Groove command and then, select Angle of Groove. Save part, next part is Guide Bush. Use Groove command, to make chamfer, for this make sketch and click on Groove command and then, select Angle of Groove. All parts are done. Now, I will start assembly. To open assembly workbench, click on Start, Mechanical Design, Assembly Design. To change the name product, right click on Product, then Properties, then Product tab, change the name to Press Tool Assembly. Now to insert part click on Press Tool Assembly and then Existing Components, Locate Folder, and click Bottom Plate, click on Open. This is base part so use fix command to fix part. After fixing part, insert guide pillar. Now constrain this part by using coincident command. To use this command click on command then. Move mouse over cylindrical portion of primary colored hole you will see dotted line click, and the same for pillar. After this use coincident command again to coincide bottom surface of bottom plate and bottom of pillar.
Make set of all constraint of separate parts it will allow you to edit assembly simply. To make set select all commands and right click then selection object then group in set. Now previously used pattern helps in assembly, use the reuse pattern. To use this command, select command click on pattern created, and part to which we want to reassemble. Use same procedure for guide bush. Now, insert top plate, constrain this part by using coincident command.
If you like this video, please like and subscribe, click on bell icon to get notifications.